Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. There is a new twist in the story. Salesforce has released large action models. That's right. So the twist is that instead of large language model, now we are having large action models. The series of this model is called as XLAM. These models are advanced large language models designed to enhance decision making and translate users' intentions into executable tools, functions or actions that interact with the outside world. These XLAMs or LAMs as they call in short, autonomously plan and execute tasks to achieve specific goals serving as the brains of AI agents. They have the potential to automate workflow processes across various domains, making them invaluable for a wide range of applications. In this video, we are going to install one of the model from this series on our local system and then we will see how exactly it creates this action. Before I show you the installation and we play around with it, let me give a huge thanks to Mast Compute who are sponsoring the VM and GPU for this video. If you're looking to rent a GPU on affordable prices, I will drop the link to their website in video's description. Plus, I'm also going to give you a coupon code of 50% discount on a range of GPUs. Now, coming back to this series, as you can see that there are uh, five models which have been released. And interestingly enough, Salesforce says that these models are open source, which you can see on your screen. But Salesforce is going to release even more advanced versions of all of these models, but they will be only exclusively available from a Salesforce platform to their customers. Now looking at these models, which you can see on the screen, there are some mixture of expert models. And then you can see that we are going to have this 1 billion one, which is the smallest with the only 1.35 billion parameters with context length of 16K, which is quite interesting. Whereas we have the 7 billion, there are two variants of it and we will see what exactly uh, the difference is shortly and then there are two mixture of experts towards the end and with all the parameters of 46.7 billion and 141 billion parameter and look at the context length of the largest one that is huge and now coming to the fact that what is the difference between this fc and the other ones the fc series of models are optimized for function calling so fc stands for function calling capability and that provides very fast, accurate and structured responses based on input queries and available APIs. These models are also fine-tuned based on the DeepSeq coder models and designed to be small enough for deployment on personal devices like phones or laptops. Salesforce has also provided a quantized version of uh, these models for efficient deployment and execution. And GGUF is a file format designed to efficiently store and load load these LLMs, making GGUF ideal for running uh, models on local devices with limited VRAM or even on the CPU so that you can have offline private functionality and enhanced privacy. So we are going to go with this 1 billion FC R1, uh, which is a model that is optimized for function calling and can be easily deployed on the personal devices. And the way it works is described in this video. So you see, Function calling or it is also called as tool use is one of the key capabilities for AI agents. It requires a model to not only understand and generate human-like text but also to execute functional API calls based on the natural language instructions. This extends the utility of LLMs beyond simple conversation tasks to dynamic interactions with a variety of digital services and applications such as retrieving weather information, managing social media platforms and handling financial services so this is uh, i believe one of the very comprehensive overview of these models there is a lot of other information which you can find on the model card including the benchmarking information on various benchmarks including bfcl you can also play around with some of the parameters one point is that this xlam 7 billion fcr which you see here second one this has secured the third place with an overall accuracy of 88.24 percent on the bfcl leaderboard outperforming many strong models okay so that said and done 
so let's go and try to get this thing installed so this is my terminal where i'm running ubuntu 22.04 and i have one gpu card nvidia rtx a6000 with 48 gpu of vram let's create a virtual environment with xlam uh, i'm just calling it xlam with python 3.11 so let's wait for it to get created and the uh, environment is created let's now create all the prerequisites so i'm installing torch transformer and accelerate and you can see that i'm installing them from the source so that we will get the latest version and everything is installed let's now launch our jupyter notebook so that we should be able to download and install the model in the browser let's wait for it to get launched and jupyter notebook is launched let's import the libraries and download this xlam 1 billion model with a tokenizer and the model has started downloading the size is quite decent just under 3 gig let's wait for it and the model is downloaded and now it's also loaded onto our gpu next up let's define the chat template now if you really want to get optimal performance from this model it is very important to follow this prompt template where we are defining the task and the format of the output so you see the task here is that you are an expert in composing functions you are given a question and a set of possible functions based on the question you will need to make one or more function tool calls to achieve the purpose and if none of the functions can be used point it out and refuse to answer if the question given question lacks the parameter required by the function also point it out and then we are specifying what out uh, what structure this output must adhere to which is a json in this case and we have also given it a um, example okay so let me run it to implement that is done and now let's define our functions of course you can also instead of defining them here in the real world you might be just calling them from here or just giving it as a, a template so in this one we are giving our prompt or query as what's the weather like in new york and then one tool we have defined a function we have defined is get weather api with some of the parameters so one very important thing to remember here is that these function calling llms they don't actually call the function what they do is you provide them a natural language query they check in their repo like this one if they have any matching function then they convert your natural language query into a function call with a function name and its parameter which is called as a signature of a function and then you actually call that function from the application so primarily all llm is doing it is very intelligently converting a natural language query into relevant uh, function call so for example in this one there are two tools one is get weather api with some parameters and other one is some search api so if you ask it about a query like weather right so it is going to go into this weather api maybe it is also going to do some search so this is what llm is going to decide which function call to create out of this query from the provided functions so that is what is happening here another very interesting bit is that you see it is using open is compatible format so that if you already have an application which uses that which many and many of them use you can simply use it as a drop and replacement okay so let's let's uh, define some of the helper functions which have been provided provided in their repo so for example this function uh, first function is um, converting the open a format which is a very industry standard into xlamp format here with some of the parameters and descriptions and then again it is building the prompt here in the next one and towards the end you see it is actually calling that double functions which we have defined to build the input and start the inference so everything is ready now let's do the actual inference so we are just creating this message template we are asking the tokenizer to convert it into tokens with uh, applying the chat template and then model is generating the output and then we are printing it out after getting it decoded from tokenizer and there you go so xlam has created a very very nice function call where it is using the get weather function because that is what we asked it to so it has totally ignored the search api one and very intel intelligently converted our natural language prompt to the function call 
so that's it guys i hope that you enjoyed it and you are also as impressed i as am with this action models really look cool and the name is quite interesting i will drop the link to it in video's description play around with it let me know what do you think if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you are already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching